Okay, sorry, let me record the meeting for those who may, may not attend. Uh, okay. So one of the most important things that we, we always uh, encourage, and that's why we always uh, conduct orientation, we believe that if you attend orientation, you will have more insight of the scholarship that we that, that you are going to apply, and you will have more information. So in this world, the most important thing is information. So if you don't if you don't know if you don't know anything about that place or about that, maybe in the context of a scholarship, you don't know information about a scholarship, however much you are qualified or you are talented like what, you can you can never win that or you can never get that. But if you have good information or you have you have access to information about that, then you will look for ways now. Uh, to tackle that that's how life is so and that's why information is always protected because information what itself is a person so if you if you know more about about the scholarship that you are going to apply then you will you will look for ways to uh to to, to win that scholarship so the scholarship orientation this orientation that we are going to do today and another is called, uh, orientation that we do so they provide tips or, or tools that help you uh, to tackle the scholarship and another thing that you also that you also get in the orientation. So when you attend the orientation, it will be easy for you to it will be easy for you to to, to navigate the, the application uh, process. It will not be hard now because that's some of the thing that sometimes if you try alone and you don't you don't you don't consult uh, the one that has knowledge upon that, then it will be hard for you to it will be hard for you to to to, to tackle that. So this the orientation uh, help us on that on that on that part. So another thing. So one another thing that you need to that you need to know. So when we are doing orientation, there's some there's some guideline or rules that we that we need to put in place. So because we 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 are using we are we are doing uh, we are doing the orientation online, and we always have some inter uh, interruption. So the most important thing when you are joining, so. When you are joining any Zoom meeting, whether it is whether it is this orientation or you are attending or uh, an interview, because most of the time most of the interviews are now done online. Yeah. So if you are attending an interview for a scholarship or any other interview, then you join and mute uh, and mute yourself. It is very important until you start talking with that person until you are allowed to talk. So it is a part of respect. Like if you are in the meeting, you don't go in the meeting and you don't go in the meeting and you start shouting when people are talking. So you 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 keep quiet until you are given a chance to talk. The same thing. So when you are online, just mute your mute your mute your mute your mute yourself and then you will be given a chance now to talk when it is time. So another thing is the same like our normal meeting. So when you are in the meeting, you also need to show some respect like you know when you are flying or you are asking questions. So so respect is not something that can be taught. You cannot be taught to be respected, but it's something that you can you can you can know by yourself. You, you can you can you can know yourself by yourself. So when you are at the meeting, you need to you need to be respectful. Don't 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 threat people or don't uh, don't speak words that are not uh, that are not okay. Uh, uh, another thing, when you want to talk, you need to raise your hand. So in the in the in the in the Zoom meeting, there is a part that is there is part of reaction. So if you want to talk, then show the reaction that shows that you are you have raised your hand, and the moderator will see you or anyone concerned will see you. The same. So listen and pay attention, and the language of instruction is is English. So here, concerning what we will do, so the the moderator, so the moderator will will handle the, the meetings, and it will be, it will be it will be the direct person who will who will who will connect the members, and then then the, so will be the one that will connect the members and the team that is working here. So we'll give each one of us. This or our time when you are when you are talking. So, so our, our moderator is the main person that will that will that will connect us that will moderate the meeting. So, if you have something to say, just raise your hand and we we will we will fix from there. So, thank you for listening, and I will I will take it back to the the moderator to to, to continue with the program. So, thank you so much. Welcome, brother. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Dengbol, uh, 
for the brief information you have given and the ground rule that you have put. And it's always important to have some rules that help people to follow the right procedure. So uh, today, our orientation as usual will be uh, 90 minutes. We always allocate 90 minutes time for the orientation. And uh, if we manage to finish the orientation before that time, then it's also okay. And if we like need more time, then we see on what to do and uh, we continue with our usual pro program. Uh, in the, the breakdown of that 90 minutes, and we have already started the first 15 minutes is always for uh, the supervisor to give the ground rules and the second 15 minutes is for the moderator to give like the breakdown of the time and the one hour is now 40 minutes for the uh, orientation that's for the speaker to tell us what we have to know and the last 20 minutes is for questions that is 10 minutes for questions and 10 minutes for answers that is how we usually do it so mr bakic hassan we would like to welcome you to start your presentation and tell us more about this scholarship and uh, we continue like that. Thank you. You're welcome. Were you getting me? Because there's somebody writing down here that he can't get anything. Yeah, you are clear. You're allowed to clear now. Okay, okay. Okay, let me let me allow back it now. Let me let me get in. Thank you so much. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. Uh, I'm by name Bakik Asen Manyank. Uh, I'm a scholar under MasterCard, University of Western Cape. And today we are going to do our orientation about application process. <laughs> Hello? What's that noise? Sorry, Today we are going to, go. Yeah, sorry. Today we are going to do orientation about uh, University of Western Gulf uh, and MasterCard uh, Foundation Scholarship application process. Uh, to those people that are complaining about uh, network, um, uh, we'll be sending you uh, my presentation PowerPoint. After the presentation, we'll be sending you those so that you go and read by yourself, even if you don't. Uh, maybe hear your, our voice. Then, first of all, before I continue, or before I share my screen, uh, I have to thank uh, Jacob Deng, uh, because I got my scholarship through ENA, uh, because I have a friend from ENA that sent me the links for this school. And then I applied and succeed. So that's my appreciation to ENA. Um, and you too can make it to University of Western Cape. It's a good university. And then you will know why University of Western Cape is the best university for you. Uh, not to waste time, let me share my screen. So University of Western Cape and MasterCard Foundation Scholarship Program Application Process 2024. So those are my information. Um, I'm Bagit Asen, MasterCard Scholar, in Master's in Public Health, University of Western Cape. And those are my contacts. So I've received all the job form um about uh, maybe what you were asking for about investor of western care about mastercard scholarship uh what are the benefits so i formulate all this so that you know more about investor of western gift so this is a brief story of the investor of western gift 
University of Western Cape was founded in 1916 and occupies a unique space in South African higher education landscape. It is a dynamic institution committed to excellence in learning, teaching, research, and innovation in globally competitive environment while remaining true to its values and so that have shaped its identity as a university rooted in serving the public good. So we have the mission statement for the University of Western Cape. Uh, the mission of uh, mission statement for this university is uh, a research-led university responsive to the needs of changing world through excellence in teaching, learning, and research, and the generation uh, application of a new uh, knowledge. So this university has a vision of 2035. Uh, there's a vision that they set as a university of Western Cape. Uh, by uh, 2035, the University of Western Cape will be widely recognized as a leading research-led university, most notably for the nurses between its undergrad and postgrad degree programs and its research endeavors. It is uh, a central place in key areas in the knowledge ecosystem, its keen focus on the public good and transforming lives and its productive relationships and effective partnership with, with universities and key agencies in Africa and beyond. So uh, that is the vision of University of Western Cape. So this is a short video uh, that you are going to watch about University of Western Cape, just three minutes. So uh, that is the video, and maybe okay, we're not, we're not getting, we're not getting sound. Yeah. Not, okay. Does it have sound? No. Is it what? Okay, it's okay. You can you can continue. Yeah, yeah, continue. Yeah, uh, that's the short video that I was having for you guys for the school, and you are going to watch it uh, when I'm going to send you because of time. We don't have enough time, so that I will continue to what we are here. Uh, those are the pictures of the school. Um, that is all about the school. That's our gym. That's our swimming pool. So now let's come to the real business. The MasterCard Foundation Scholars Program at the University of Western Cape. The University of Western Cape is an implementing partner uh, they are partnered with the uh, MasterCard uh, Scholars Program uh, and then University of Western Cape. And that partnership it was initiated in 2012. And that program is, the, is designed uh, for global initiative to develop uh, the next generation of transformative leaders, uh, leaders by enabling highly talented, service-oriented young people, primarily young Africans to pursue their higher education and cultivate uh, leadership potential within the University of Western Cape. The MasterCard Foundation Scholars Program is especially targeted towards young people whose access to higher education is impeded by economic and social barriers uh, because uh, this one is targeting people that uh, that are economic disadvantage, and they cannot be able like to afford uh, tuition fees and everything. Then this scholarship is good for them. The program also plays a particular emphasis on reaching young women, uh, refugees, and displaced internal displaced youth and young people living with disabilities who are encouraged to, to apply because you have young women 
the refugees and internet displaced youth and young people with, living with disabilities are encouraged to apply. The MasterCard Scholars Program at the University of Western Cape support academically talented youth from South Africa and other parts of African continent. For the 2025 academic year, the program at UWC will provide fully opportunities for young scholars. It is fully funded. Uh, if, uh, uh, what I meant about fully funded is all about vision to be discovered, uh, the meal allowances, um, we have stipend, and then the other program that is designed for you and laptop is also provided for undergraduate qualifications and master's degree qualifications. Now let's come to calls for application. The University of Western Cape invites applications for a limited, limited number of undergrad and master cards, and I mean, sorry, and master's degree scholarships from qualifying candidates from South Africa and the African continent who are prepared to register for a full-time study in 2025. So application are restricted to the following disciplines or field of study. Uh, they are restricted not all field of studies that I cover by MasterCard, but they are just uh, restricted in this court. So we have undergrad qualifications. Uh, if you have your pain, uh, you can write down, uh, these are the fields of study that uh, MasterCard Foundation funded at this school. We have a lot of faculties, but MasterCard went and picked um, some department from the faculties and then funded them. This field of studies, we have faculty of humanities and arts. This is for undergrad. Uh, humanities and arts, we have Bachelor of History, we have Bachelor of Linguistics, we have Bachelor of Sociology, uh, and then we have Bachelor of Women's and Gender Studies. Those are under faculty of humanities and arts. And then we have faculty of economic and management sciences. Uh, we have bachelor of economic. Uh, we have bachelor of information science. We have bachelor of public administration. It's only three bachelors that are sponsored under MasterCard. And then we have faculty of education. We have a uh, bachelor of uh, mathematics and science. We have bachelor I mean the foundation pace under education. And we have faculty of natural sciences. We have uh, Baizuko, department of Baizuko. Uh, under it, there are a lot that are under it. Computational, uh, it includes uh, computer science, information systems. And then we have bachelor of mathematics and we have bachelor of physical. Sciences, those are undergrad qualifications. And then we have the eligibility. Eligibility at the time of application, an applicant must certify the following four criteria. Within these four criteria, these are uh, these are must. You must qualify uh, for, for you to get uh, a scholarship. Uh, be older. Be no older than 26 years. You must be 26 years for undergrad studies. More than 26, you are not qualified. You need to meet the university uh, minimum admission requirements. Each program within uh, the faculty itself has a specific information or a, a specific admission requirements. Uh, because assuming if you are going to apply for public administration, under public administration, there are some requirements that are needed within that specific cost. Um, you have to visit uh, www.uwc.ac.za and then select that cost and see the minimum requirements that are 
that are needed in that course must have applied for academic admission to the university for 2025. Be prepared to register for full-time undergrad study in January 2025. And then another requirement, you need to provide evidence that access to university studies in speed by social and economic barriers. Because within your motivational letter, you have to provide you have to highlight uh, why your studies uh, uh, are impeded by the social or economic barriers. So we have uh, postgrad, postgrad, uh, postgrad uh, qualification master's degree. We have period of studies. Uh, undergrad, they have four faculties. And then the postgraduate have five faculties. Under these uh, faculties, we have Faculty of Humanities and Arts. We have Applied Linguistics, a Master's in Applied Linguistics, Master's in History, Master's in Gender Justice, uh, Master's in Migration Studies, Master's in Sociology for Development. Uh, those are Master's things. Then we have Community and Health Sciences. Faculty of Community of Health Sciences uh, is only a Bachelor of Public Health. I mean, uh, Masters of Public Health. Then we have Economic and Management Sciences. We have Masters in Development Studies, Masters in Information Sciences, Masters in Migration Studies. So we have Faculty of Law. We have Masters of Governments and Humanities under Law. So we have Natural Sciences. Uh, we have Department of Educo computational, and then mathematics and physical sciences. Under computation, uh, computational, we have information system. We have, uh, in, uh, we have computer science. Those are masters. So eligibility for masters. You must be no older than 30 years. You must be 30 years for the master's degree studies you meet the university minimum admission requ requirement like the same. Uh, be prepared to begin the first year of registration for full-time master's degrees study in January 2025. Provide even that access to university studies in fit by social and economic barriers. So, now, how to apply to the University of Western Cape? Because after you learned about uh, what are the field of studies, you already made up your mind to choose to choose your uh, dream course. Now, these are the way that how to apply to the University of Western Cape. Like you are potential prospective students, you may apply by the by following these steps. Step number one. First, apply to the University of Western Cape for admission for the degree that you wish to study. You have to click on that link, click here. If you click, we'll take you to the uh, apply now for the university online application page. Uh, for the University of Western Cape, uh, what is allowed is application online. Uh, there are no, we, application online only. There are no hard copies that are accepted. During the application, there is no application fees. If anyone asking you about the application fees, those are scammers. Uh, academic application will open on 1st of April. It's opening tomorrow. 1st uh, of April, that is when it's going to open. And close on the 30th of September. You'll, you'll be out for, five, for four months from 1st April to 30th of September. Applicant must check the university website for a specific closing dates for a specific master's degree program. There are some master's degree program that close earlier than the deadline. You have to check always the website. Now, 
Step number two, select the undergrad or postgrad application. You need to select the undergrad or postgrad application. Because when applying, after you said applied now, you have to select undergrad or postgrad application because there are two applications for the undergrad and postgrad. Now, fill in all the required information. Then submit the required documents because there are some required documents that are needed. You have to submit all of them. So these are the links for all the faculties at the University of Western Cape. Uh, if you want to study a uh, faculty of, or if you want to study of, uh, under faculty of art and humanities, you click on this, on this link, will take you to faculty of art and humanities. The same to the other links, faculty of community health, community and health sciences, faculty of economic and management sciences. Uh, any program that you're interested in, you just click on that link, it will take you to where uh, that faculty is. Now, how to apply to the MasterCard? Because the first thing that you need to do is apply to the school first. After applying to the school uh, with the course that you want, they are going to get a reference number or application number. And that is the application number you are going to use for MasterCard Foundation Scholars Program application form. Uh, you cannot apply for MasterCard first before school. You must apply for the school. The school will generate you an application number. And that application number, you are going to use it for MasterCard Foundation Scholars uh, program application form. Now, first apply to the University of Western Cape for the degree that you wish to study. Under this link, there's no application form. Academic application will open on first, the same like I told you. Now apply to the MasterCard Foundation Scholars Program at UWC. Uh, the MasterCard Foundation Program Scholars call for application opens for the class of 2025 at the end of May 2024. Uh, the link for MasterCard Foundation application will come out by the end of May after you apply to the school because uh, during that time you might have your application uh, your application number ready so that you can apply for the mastercard and this is the link that you are going to use when when may come the end of may comes you are going to use this link so this link will take you direct to application form online applications for mastercard close on 30 past 20 uh, 30 past july 2024 it will open by the end of may and then close by the end of July 2024. Then the final selection and awards will be made by the end of August 2024. Conditional awards, because if MasterCard accepted you, uh, you'll be like in December 2024. Those successful candidates will be sent conditional award letters in 2024, uh, September. So, uh, in this school, we have Inter International Student Service Office. Uh, that's ASO. It helps international students uh, because international students uh, get a lot of problems when applying to, uh, when applying. Uh, this office offers dedicated student administration to support international students at the various stages of their education at UWC. Before you even start your application, uh, there are what they call SACWA forms and ESA forms. Uh, if you contact this office, uh, they will guide you uh, where to go and get uh, maybe SACWA form or ESA form. International students include all persons whose nationality is from abroad, out of Africa, uh, from SADC uh, countries within Africa, refugees, and then asylum permit holders. These are what they term as international students. And any other person not in possession of South African citizen identity, judgment. International students have unique requirements associated with their studies 
in South Africa and will need a specialized support. So if you want to apply now for the student international student application process, uh, because there is what they call SACWA form, because in South Africa, you cannot apply without equating your certificate. You have to equate your certificate first uh, before applying to the University of Western Cape. Try to equate your certificate, your calculation that you have to South African system. What you need to do first, this is the admission section to ensure that you meet the minimum requirement for your preferred academic program. Now, step two, this is the evaluation section to obtain an exemption from the University of South Africa. This one is for University of South Africa, USA, is for those that are going to do undergrad. Because if you are going to do bachelor, you have to apply for equation, uh, for equi for equation about your certificate or evaluation. So, and other qualification, which is South African Qualification Authority, this one is only for masters. Because if you want, to, if you have a bachelor degree already, you have to equate your bachelor degree. You have to equate it first before applying. Because WUSTAP is for uh, those of high school. SAPA for those that have bachelors. If you have a bachelor degree, you are going to use SAPA. If you have your uh, high school, you're going to use WUSAP. Now visit the application section below to submit an online application to the university. Then uh, this one comes after you are accepted, like this number four, number five, number six, and number seven. After you accept it to the University of Western Cape, then you will go to the step four, which is immigration. That's where you're going to look for your visa, uh, registration process, your arrival. So these are the contexts for international school student application process. These are their contexts. Uh, this is a coordinator for international student service. Anytime you can feel free to, to email them on this email requiring about SAQA thing, uh, about this SAQA, South African Qualification Authority, or WhatsApp. Those are the numbers. Note. Since your application depends on either USAP exemption or SAQA evaluation certificate, and in some cases it both, this office will not be able <laughs> to process your application until appropriate evidence from USAP or SAQA is supplied. So this is the link. Uh, to apply for the University of Western Cape uh, admission, you have to apply first to USAP, you apply first to USAP or to SAQA. So that uh, you must create your certificate before applying. So these are the other requirements. You must have, uh, you must create your certificate for master SAQA. Uh, you, you click on this link, it will take you to, to this SAQA thing. And then we have higher education South Africa for undergrad. You click on that link, will take you straight to their homepage. And then you have you must have a ballot passport. When applying, you must upload your ballot passport. And then you must have good motivational uh, letter. Uh, you must have maybe uh, a recommendation letter from IDFs. That's RRC managed by RRC uh, or refugee recommendation letter, uh, because. 25% of the application is given, uh, the priority is given to the refugees um, and followed by ID fees, followed by disadvantage use. Because even if you are not from ID, even if you are not from ID fee or from a refugee, you will still have a chance because uh, you are disadvantaged use. Uh, in your motivation later, you are going to add uh, your uh, socioeconomic barriers and then the other requirements. So this one is about software. You're going to watch it, the process. Uh, you're going to watch it maybe if time allowed. 
Um, before I continue, I don't know, uh, Mr. Nial, how many minutes do I do I have? The minutes remaining. Nial. You still have time, Mr. Bucket. You still have time. Okay. You still have 17 more minutes. Okay. So uh, for those that are going to apply for masters, uh, you are going to use this software. Uh, this is a short video. I will just uh, it will just take like two minutes. Uh, watch the process. But it, is there, does it have sound or no? It has sound. I don't know. Then, then you then you share it again. You go you 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 stop the sharing, then you share and click share sound. No, we are not hearing any sound. No, no, you can you can stop the sharing, the whole sharing, the whole presentation. Stop it. Then you share it again. You you press the the share button. There they will show you there is where you share, and they will also tell you down there share sound. So press share sound. Also. Okay, let me stop the yeah. yeah. Then share it again. Now, where you are sharing it, before you click the presentation down there, it has a button that that say share sound. Oh yeah, I got it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Good. So, uh, uh, Mr. Dink, what I'm going to do, I'll just make it as practical because uh, we'll make it practical. Yeah, okay. They're going to wait. Okay, then we'll go and watch it. Yeah, sure. We'll share the, we'll share the, we'll share the presentation in the group. Yeah, save time. It's yeah. save time, I mean. Yeah, to save time. So, uh, you guys, uh, what we are going to do, uh, we'll be going practically uh, because when, whenever you are going, because these are the best steps that you need to have before applying, you must have your certificate equated. Now, what you need to do is clicking on the, you must click on this link. Yeah? You click on this link, open the link. Hope you are seeing my screen. My screen. Oh, are you seeing my screen? So whenever you reach here, you click on evaluation for foreign certificate. Whenever you click there, it will take you to the home page. So you come to how to apply. Because in the application process, yeah, you must have a document. You must have. Uh, you must make a payment for qualification because there's a payment that is included, and the payment is done online. The payment is done online. Now click on apply for. It will give you this page, and then you click on I have read all. Now before before continuing to um to. To fill in this information, you have to create your email first. Yeah? You have to click here, and then you click your email. Because this is a user uh, registration. Uh, you must put your title, assuming if you are Mesa, and then you put your initials, your first name later, like my first name, Plagic Ascent Manyard. And then you put your side name, which is, uh, let me say, Malist. And then, you here you put your city you put your post office or suburb we you put your country 
uh, you go to South Sudan. Um, and here we don't have South Sudan, we use what? We use Sudan. And then you put our postal code, you put your number, you put your email, you put your pass, uh, password, and then you create your account. You first uh, put these digits here, and then you create your account. After you create your account, you come and put the email that you put here. The email that you put here, and then you put the password, and then you log in. It's going to open for you a page. And then after that, you have to upload your document, the document that you are going to evaluate. And then they will ask you to pay. Uh, payment is like around uh, 2, uh, 1,700 rand. It's approximately $89 for masters. And then $39, for, uh, $39 which is 750 rand for uh, uh, undergrad. So uh, these are the process that you guys are going to follow. Uh, you are going to watch more videos. Um, you are going to watch more videos because the video is there. Uh, you are going to watch it later. So let me stop um, sharing my screen and then we go back. And then for uh, higher education, you have to open the link. And then for the high school, higher education, what you need to do first is the assessment. Because this is an online assessment application, this is the first step before applying. This is the first step you have to use. Uh, it has four, four things. Uh, make the payment. That is the second thing. You have to make the payment. Uh, before starting the assessment, you start the assessment here. And you, you have not obtained one of the following, uh, one of the following. You have to say no, and then you select a country. So Sudan is not in the list, but Sudan is there. You have to select Sudan, and then you put your qualification, and then, then you say continue. After you continue, the assessment part is finished. Now you make the payment. The payment is made, it is rent 700, 750. To this banking details, uh, the only bank is what APSA, and this, this is the account number. Uh, and then you have your uh, name or student number because if you already apply, uh, maybe and then you want to equate again, you have to put your student number. But seeing your potential applicant, you have to put your name only, and then you get your what get correctly certified copies of documents, all the documents that you want to put, like identification ID or passport, school leaving, school leaving certificate, or post school qualification and academic records. You have to submit all those. And then after you submit everything, you have to complete. You have to complete now uh, your, your online application form. You select there and then you what? Proceed. And now we'll bring you to, to fill in all the information. Your gender, ID number, surname, first names, email, postal, education, qualifications. Uh, uh, the subjects first, because if you have seven subjects or eight subjects, you have to include them all here under this subject. You click add, 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 Add like that. If there are eight, you have to put eight of them. And then you have this four school qualifications. If you have, you can put. And then the pros uh, proposed qualification, like the degree name, because you are going to study. If you are going to study a Bachelor of Economics, you have to put Bachelor of Economics. And then PES, year of, what are, year of PES registration, you have to put 2025. Then, uh, Expected year of completion uh, because the bachelor is four years. You have to put four years. I mean, up to up to 2029. And then institution, you click, you invest, you look for the investor of Western Cape, you click it. And then now, all the supporting documents, including payment, proof of payment, you must have. And then the payment reference, you must also have. And then you put the reference there. And now you come to what? 
submit the application. Within the confirmation, you say that uh, proof of the payment is there. My ID is there. If you are married, you must have marriage certificate. You also need to put it. And uh, if you are married, the school leaving certificate and other is, uh, you select anything that you feel like you want, uh, you attach already, and then you submit your application. And these are the process that you guys need to follow. And let me go back. Um, so that is that. So the high mm, any questions? I'm done. Thank you so much for listening. Hello, Mr. Neil. Yes, club. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Uh, the host had forgotten to unmute me. So okay. thank you, Mr. Bakic, and it has been really a successful orientation. Uh, we appreciate your service, and that's, that's what we need from our friends like you. You are a very important friend and part of AINA also. Uh, right now, it's time for questions, and uh, any person who has a question, we expect him or her to raise his or her hand, and then we see and we go forward. I think uh, you will take your notes and you will first register all the questions, then after that you will answer them at once, or how do you see? Yeah, no problem, but uh, to save time, we can just, maybe someone can just raise uh, his or her name, uh, uh, a hand, then we answer straight away because to save time. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, somebody was raising his hand here and I don't know, has disappeared. Clark, Clark and oh. Aguata there. Okay, right now we will start from, with Clark. Clark, you can uh, ask your question and we continue. Clark, uh, thank you so much. Yeah. Yes, I hope I'm clear. Very clear. Very clear. Yes. Thank you so much for the opportunity. So my question is, is it only the internally displaced people and the refugees who have the opportunity or even us, we can also get the chance? That's my question. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks for the question. Uh, the opportunity is for everyone, but uh, higher chances are refugees, the IDPs, disadvantaged use. Even all of us are disadvantaged use, especially South Sudan all. We are all disadvantaged. If you can see the dollar rate that goes up every day, we are disadvantaged. And within your application or motivation letter, you have to add. You have to add in your motivation letter uh, why uh, socioeconomic or social barriers affected your university um, maybe your university studies. You have to add in your motivation later. Everyone is disadvantaged. But the priority is the, the refugees. Because the refugee and someone that's staying at home, they have differences. Next, Agwat. Agwat. Yeah, you have to unmute the board. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Uh, I met the, um, the mic. Yeah, I don't know if you are getting me. Okay, okay. I'm getting you. Hi. Are you getting me? Yes, I'm getting okay. you. My question is just about, yeah, my question is just about the, the payment. Uh, you, you mentioned one of the bank. I, I don't think if we have this bank here. Uh, if there might be a reference to that, but I don't know if these people are going to, to uh, let's say, know us because 
He said you will use the, the post, uh, this you will use Sudan, for example, and the poster codes, all these. I don't know how are you going to, to use them? Because if we are to use Sudan, then we will use it differently. And they might not consider us that we are really Sudanese, like, and we are doing this in South Sudan. As, we, as maybe somebody will find the money and then maybe you will send the money to the bank, the bank will be in South Sudan. But you said you are now in Sudan. So I don't know how is this one going to be? So that's my question. Okay. Okay, Mr. Abgot, it's like uh, it's like this. Uh, uh, within the system, uh, within the system, like uh, there are some systems in South Sudan is not included. Uh, uh, we are considered okay. as Sudan only. There's no an impact because okay. when I was filling my uh, my application form, I use Sudan, and then I paid online using uh, this Posaka thing. I pay online because there's an online payment that is done with using visa or mastercard debit card you have to pay online and then for the high school for the high school they don't pay online there's a bank you just pay into that bank AFSA bank uh, the, this bank for south africa and that's where i say that uh that's where i'm going to help people that's why i'm here uh there's nothing that's going to be hard when when i'm here uh because you can fill your application and then when it comes to time of payment, uh, you can convert that money to maybe your convenience, like dollar, and then I come and pay it. That's why I'm here, and I have to help uh, you guys. Uh, for the payment, like uh, undergrad, there's no problem. I will try my best. You send your money, I pay to that bank, and then I send you your receipt. But for uh, masters, you have to pay online. And there's a question here, like uh, are this payment for evaluation according to your presentation? Yes, the payment is for evaluation because if you want to apply, if you want to apply for uh, uh, for the application, okay, like the admission to the University of Western Cape, you must have you must pay your evaluation fees to South Africa. is not is not is a different department. It's not. Um, it's not UWC, it is South African government. And that's what they said. They said their rule that all the foreign certificate must be equated. And if they're equated, um, then the departments are there, department for uh, uh, postgraduate and department for undergrad. So uh, what I hope I have answered you. John Clay. Try to unmute on play. Try to unmute on play. Yeah, yeah, I'm on mute now. Are you guys hearing me? Yeah, I'm getting you. Uh, sorry for the interruption at the background. It's raining there heavily. So, uh, my question is uh, like, like people who completed in 2021, like people who completed in 2021, are they considered? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my question. Okay. For me, I completed in 2010, and I applied last year. That's mean that any any time, I finished my secondary school in 2010. And I applied. There's no any problem with that. Ton, I hope I have answered you. It doesn't have. You must be 26 years because for bachelor degree you must be 26. For masters you must be 30. Even if you are not 30, even if you are 40, try to go and reduce your your age. Try to reduce it to 29 or 30. At least. Uh, unmute Dink. Unmute Dink. Uh, this Dink Walia.
Then what? Yes. Can you then? Yes, I think you are getting me. Yeah, I'm getting you now. Okay, thank you for the opportunity given. I want to ask this question. Mm -hmm. Is it possible to apply for bachelor degree of medicine? Because in most cases, some of the scholarships they don't give medicine. So that's my question. Yeah, and when you okay, maybe you came late. Uh, there are a few of studies, um, few of studies that are covered by by Mastercard. Um, is restricted to some field of studies. Um, automatically, uh, the uh, bachelor of medicine is not there. Oh, I see. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. So, Google, unmute Google. Then call, then call again. I then okay, then. And me, Google. Okay, okay, you can allow you can allow a demean instead because we're not. Huh? And me time. Okay, I think I'm allowed to talk. Uh, I have about three questions here. Number one question is on refugee recommendation letters. Okay, as refugees in Uganda, how are we going to get refugee recommendation letters? Do we go to OPM or do we go to UNHCR? And what should be in the recommendation letter? Should they refer to the OPM recommend us that uh, we should study in South Africa? What exactly should be in the recommendation letter and how do we get the recommendation letter from us refugees in Uganda? That is number one question. Uh, the second question, you talk about the eight uh, subjects or about seven subjects that are filled in when we are looking for the, when we are looking for evaluation. So here in the A-level in Uganda, senior six, we usually sit, for example, only five subjects. So that's uh, three principal subjects and two subjects. So like, how are we going to apply? Yet in Uganda, we, we do only five subjects in a level. That is one. The, that is the second question. The third question is on passport. Uh, most, most of us here in Uganda, we don't have passport because we are refugees. So how are we going to apply with passport? Yet we have refugee IDs in Uganda. Can we just apply with refugee IDs since we don't have passports because we are refugees in Uganda? Those are my three questions. Thank you. OK, thank you. Um, Just uh, some clarifications. Uh, number one. Uh, you must get a refugee recommendation later from the UNHCR or anywhere. Then in, in it included like uh, uh, for passing studies, uh, like, like an assistant given to him or to her uh, to pursue uh, passing studies. Uh, it should be included in that, uh, but not in South Africa alone, but in, in another area, not at South Africa, but uh, it will be a recommendation later to any to any department within uh, within Africa or out of Africa. Uh, second to it, uh, uh, a bad passport. Uh, if you are a refugee, you don't need a passport. You must use your refugee card. Uh, and then the, the refugee's identity number, you are going to put it where there is ID number. That's where you are going to put the refugee uh, number. That means you don't have a passport to apply. You, you are a refugee. And whenever you come here, you come with your refugee identity number. Then number three, I don't know, uh, remind? Uh, okay. Let me, mm, number I don't know if you're still here. Right? Concerning the number of subjects that you're supposed to fill. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, it, uh, because that I was doing as an example, even if you have two subjects, uh, for evaluation, you have to put it there because your certificate, what they are going to evaluate is your certificate. And if they are going to evaluate your certificate, and then that certificate based on how many subjects. Is it two subjects? You have to put there, those two subjects. 
three subjects, you have to put there those three subjects. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. To add something on. Uh, okay. Uh, bucket. To add something on I, uh, refugees uh, recommendation. Actually, if you have refugee ID or you have refugee card, and these are testation cards, then I think it's not uh, it's not a must to have a recommendation. But if you want it, maybe uh, maybe for for to to support your your card, then it's not a must to go to UNHCR. You can you can take the recommendation from the community uh, camp leader because I think it's the easiest one. So because yeah, we that's take what I said anyway. Yeah. Or PM That's what I see. Yeah. or anywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm coming. I got, got your point. So I'm just backing it up. So okay. you can you can just maybe take from the community leader, uh, uh, cam leader, and you just make it open because as as Bucket said, you you make it open. Don't just say don't don't specify it in South Africa because you may apply for other scholarships. So just make it a general a general uh, recommendation that you are a refugee in that specific uh, camp. So and it will be just be be open. So. If you see there's no, if you see there's no time, because sometimes you may, you may live in Kampala and you don't have time to get recommendation, you go to the camp. Then you can you can talk with someone maybe to, to do it for you, or you can even you can even talk with because sometimes camp leader they don't know how to write. You can write your own recommendation. This is just like the right own recommendation. Then you send it to them, say that they sign it and they stamp it. They have the stamp, and you 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 back up your 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 ID and and attestation. But if you have ID and attestation, I think they are enough for for refugees. It's a recommendation. Maybe for uh, maybe for IDPs, you may you may get recommendation because sometimes IDP they don't have a uh, cut, so you can get recommendation from the cam leader, and then you continue or you get the recommendation for from RRCC uh, from RRC. So this is what you can just do. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, uh, members. What we are going to do is like uh, right. Some people if you cannot be able like raise your hand up, type your message. Or type your question here in the chat uh, in the chat box. You just type there. So, uh, at the mint uh, loud attempt joke. You attempt. Yo, how are you, man? Uh, I I greeted my 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 questions are few, you know. Are you guys getting me? Yes, we are getting you. Okay, my questions are, you know, currently I'm in Kampala right now, you know, and um, you people are talking about international, international students, yeah, um, about international students. I'm confused here, by the way, because I'm not a refugee, you know, um, so I need to ask you, like, uh, is it a must for a person to be, uh, like, uh, you know, it is one for, I, I mean, uh, it is one for uh, you know, for like uh, international international student or for everyone. You know, I want to know that by the way. Secondly, about the payment, about the payment, because I am an undergraduate student. You know, yeah. So about the payment, you say something before, but it don't get you well. You know, because I was busy somewhere here. So I need to know. Should I, where, where should I get this bank, by the way, here in Kampala, actually? So I'm done from there. Thank you. Okay. Okay, thanks, Atem. Uh, uh, what you need to do first, uh, this opportunity is for everyone because MasterCard is sponsoring everyone. But the categories that was I told you before, uh, a category of refugees, the ID fees, uh, these are the advantage used, and those are the categories. But we have a priority that they give to people. The first priority is given to the refugees. And the second priority is ID fees. The third priority is, uh, is the people with disabilities because our uh, disadvantage used. Because you know what we meant about people with disabilities, because if you don't have one arm, uh, if you don't have one eye, something like that, you are disabled. Uh, you have some chances. And second to your question, uh, you you said you are in Kampala, and you cannot be able like uh, like banks are not there in Kampala. That is what I said before. I'm here, and I, me and Deng will be trying to help you out if I'm here, and I will be giving you the links after you fill in everything, all the information because all the links are there. What you need to do to 
qualify for this scholarship. All the links I provided them. Uh, if you want to do undergrad, you must be, you must apply for USAP so that you do uh, all the, your evaluation first before applying to the university and before applying to the MasterCard. Because MasterCard doesn't need that USAP is a school because MasterCard depend on the school. MasterCard doesn't need uh, maybe evaluation form, uh, evaluation certificate, no. It's only the school that is looking for them. And uh, after you secure a school uh, admission, then you can get a admission for MasterCard. It's very easy to get. It depends on the school. And that's what, these are the way that we need to, to get for the school. Like for masters, you apply it online. The payment is done online using MasterCard, David card, or Visa card. And those departments, they are different. They are not included with your University of Western Cape or the MasterCard. They are different departments. They are different departments. They are so different. They don't even know each other. So uh, that's what you need to do. Uh, to do. Uh, if it comes to payments, uh, I'm also available. We'll try to see. How, how, how am I going to help you? Uh, but uh, if you just say that go and pay this money, I can go and pay and then I give you your receipt. That's all. And that's the help that I can give. Because what we need from you, what Anna need from you is for you to secure uh, a scholarship. And there are some scholarship you must fight for it because it doesn't just come like that. And those are the ways that if you fulfill those ways, you have higher chances of getting scholarship, not from this school alone, but from the other school like University of Pretoria, like University of Cape Town. They also need this uh, evaluation certificate, all the universities in South Africa. Okay. And if you have one, uh, one equating certificate, you must apply to any university within South Africa. Um, at the main Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Bakic. Uh, there are two people who are remaining, and we will uh, welcome them then to end the program. We are running out of time. Uh, we will welcome Andrew Duop, then Malcolm, and uh, also there is a news for those who are in Kampala. Uh, they say that Absa branch is in, is in Kansanga, so you can find it there. It's very nice. It's, yeah, so, and there is a question here that Ton asked. Uh, the question is about age. Is like the if you are below twenty six. Yes. Yeah. So I think you mentioned before, like if you are twenty six and below, you are eligible to apply. So that question is kind of answered already. So right now, let us. Yeah. So now let us welcome Andrew, Mister Admin. You can allow Andrew to ask his question, and then we welcome Malcolm. I don't know, Malcolm, is your question not asked yet? Then you can still write and we see. Malcolm's question is, Malcolm, okay, Malcolm, I got this question here. Yeah. What if he uses his all-level certificate in his state? Mm. Is that the question? I don't know. No, it was suggestion. Oh, suggestion. Mm. Okay. And then you, okay, there's one lady, Eliana. You have to allow okay. her maybe gender. <laughs> you can allow Elias later raise a hand and then the Lord. Eliana, oh, Eliana. Okay, Eliana, Eliana. You, you, you answer. Yeah. Hello. Can you yes, hear yeah. me? Okay, my question is cutting across like so many scholarships, not this alone. So, like uh, for me, I didn't do the Kenyan system, which is KCSE. So in many cases, uh, when I try to apply for a certain scholarship, I don't get the option to, like the option for the, for the system that I did. So I don't know how to go about it. Cause I like, I even converted the results, but it is slightly higher compared to the Kenyan system. So like I find, I find it difficult and I don't know how to go about it. So which system did you did you, did you say it? Pardon? Which system? Which system did you, did uh, you get your final? I did I, I I did IB, International Baccalaureate. In Kenya or where? In Kenya. Hmm. 
yeah. and and that system is also here because when you when you are applying for or equating it is under the you're going to do by your uh, bachelor right yeah is it bachelor yeah, yeah that system is it is under WhatsApp international book uh, it is uh, under there you click on that and then you fill in all the information yeah. for the, that certificate yes okay thank you you're welcome so malcolm where's malcolm hey malcolm okay question for malcolm if if you are disadvantaged but not living in a refugee or idp scam what else uh, can you use to mind the requirements if you are disadvantaged, you have the financial financial barriers because you have to in your motivation letter, you have to uh, in your motivation you have to add your financial barriers about your family. Even if your family are very rich, just tell them that uh, you know my father is a uh, is a uh, is a cultivator and my mother is a cleaner somewhere. You you see you have to be very for when applying. You have to be very for. Okay, that's cool. I got it. Yeah. How much is admission fees? Admission fees is free. There's no money, Andrew. It's free of charge. Yeah. Um, what? Is there computer engineering or computer science? We have computer science, okay. no computer engineering. You have to drop in your uh, messages so that uh, to save time. Is Andrew still around or? Okay, there was a question in the in the chat before uh, a kit. Yeah, about. Uh, question yeah, someone has uh, whether someone someone has in the chat. I saw in the chat that if you have. Uh, ID, if you have a refugee card or refugee ID, so, and you also have passport, do you have to put them all? Do you have to, to submit all? No, you don't submit all, you submit the refugee so that you are a refugee. They will know that you are in the refugee camp. Yeah, and you so have that's it. So if you, don't yeah, use so your passport. If you submit, so if you submit all of them, then you have spoiled the scholarship because how can you, you, have, a, how can you have a passport okay. and you're and you a refugee? Okay, Andrew, if you are if you are available, then you can talk. We are not getting you well. I'm not getting you well. Okay, so my question was, are you getting me? Somehow, you are not so clear. Okay, the problem with network. Okay. Yeah, type in, type in your uh, message. Okay, like uh, type in your uh, question un under this chat, message chat. Uh, we're not getting you. Thank you At the main, you just uh, allowed few people so that. Uh, time. Okay, before I saw some courses that include okay. Baruko, which is specific course, okay. I think okay. under this. Okay, okay, Niall, you can regulate time. Then. Nial, are you available? Is back, are you able to hear? Yeah, I'm around. Is back continuing yeah, can... or? No, I... no, I'm I'm waiting for. Okay, like there are some people that are raising their hands. Sholmash, Andrew, Adolf, Deng, Akesh. Mm. Andrew, I think Andrew is having some, is it network problem or a noise at the background? So we are not getting Andrew. Maybe okay. we are going to allow Denga catch Denga catch. All right. I, I think you are getting me there. Hello? Yeah, we're yeah, getting, getting you. Me. Okay. Come on.
question the uh, question uh, us and talk before about this one how much exactly do they equate how much do they require to, to do a question of uh, certificates number two is about the biological before computation is it computational and also mathematical so i would like to know exactly is biological sciences is it a course like that or are there some specific courses under it like uh, that one of computer computational course sciences we have in uh, computer information which is ict and computer science so i would also know i want to know exactly under biological sciences do we also have some courses under it okay so that's your question right so i got you like uh under this biological sciences we have uh, there are some departments that are in we have uh, biotech that's biotechnology uh we have uh under that faculty we have the computer science that is computational because they fall under under it all and then we have s sciences and then medical bioscience but there are some specific courses that they offer like under biological they offer only one course, which is biotech, biotechnology. Under computational, they offer two, which is computer science and information system. Computer science and information system. And then we have the physical science is a course alone like that. I don't know if I have answered you. Uh, Andrew said, I have a heart of money. May you try to clarify. Does it mean you can't pay anything be from the beginning until end when you admit it? Yes. Uh, Investor Western CAF and uh, MasterCard scholarship or any the scholarship doesn't require you to pay any money. The All the process is free of charge, but uh, equating required money because if you are going to equate your certificate, you must uh, pay those equating certificate. You must pay them so that you get your certificate equated. After your certificate are equated, now you come and apply for UWC. And if someone asks you about money for the application for UWC, that means that person is a scam. You don't allow it. until you are admitted to the University of Western Cape, and then you don't have a scholarship under Mastercard. And if you can decide it like to pay your own fees, then you can decide to pay your own fees because you don't have a scholarship. And remember, MasterCard and University of Western Cape, they're independent. They, uh, those people do their own application process by themselves. And those people are different. And then they come together later because uh, when they come together, they use reference number because the reference number is that you apply for the school is the one that you are going to apply for the uh, for the MasterCard. Next, please. Andrew again said my passport is about to, my question is about passport, like my passport is on process. Is it allowed to apply or should I wait a passport pass? We have four months. We have four months from April to September. You still have time. Uh, <clears throat> If you want to win the scholarship, we don't need like uh, uh, incomplete information. You you open the portal, uh, application portal, when you are ready to apply. That's what I can uh, advise you. Uh, if any it is open tomorrow, don't write to apply. Just apply maybe after one month, after getting all the all the information, uh, like uh, maybe the required documents after equating your certificates and then read through the requirements that are needed by the University of Western Cape. Uh, as per now, you guys need to focus on the University of Western Cape alone 
before the scholarship. Uh, whenever you get the opportunity in the University of Western Cap, you are going to get a scholarship, not MasterCard alone, but there are some scholarships that are internal. If they admit you to the University of Western Cap, you have some opportunities, from, not from the MasterCard alone, but from the other uh, financial aid, which are in the school. They don't advertise, but they advertise internally because the, uh, after you are admitted, uh, you you get those chances if you miss MasterCard. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Bakic. We are out of time. Uh, we are many only with three three minutes, so we'll use this three minutes to put the last remark, and then we will come our supervisor to close everything. Because and also, what I would like to ask at uh, my friends uh, these things concerning eligibility criteria, uh, you should not ask Bakic about them. All of them, I mean. So there are some of them that you are going to read. You follow that link that was given to you and you'll find most of the things that you want there. And maybe if you don't understand anything there, if there is at all something that you are not able to understand, then Bakic is still here. This is not last time, like he's not leaving us today. He's, he, our time is out and he will be around. You can find his number in the group anytime. You can write to him if there is something you don't understand and this will be there to help you. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, Mr. Bucket, if you have a last word that you will add before I welcome our supervisor to close everything because we're out of time. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, <clears throat> I have a small message for them. Uh, if you can uh, see my message, that is my message in the, like, uh, dear, uh, seekers, I can call you a seeker or someone that is looking for scholarships in the pursuit of the, your dreams, know that every setback is simply a setup for a comeback. In any setback, because there are some people that were uh, deny scholarship opportunities, they apply many times, like 10 times, but they are not getting admitted. Uh, take that setback as a setup for a comeback. You will definitely make it. Um, you will uh, you will read the whole message because uh, for the interest of time, uh, I'll put that message. Uh, I added it to my PowerPoint presentation. Uh, you can go and read uh, the whole message. Um, but the quote that you need to take any setback is simply a setup for a comeback. You have to come back stronger. Whenever you miss the scholarship opportunity, keep trying and never keep up. Stay resilient and stay resilient. Uh, your future is filled with limitless uh, possibilities and opportunities. Uh, you guys uh, never give up, but try to equip yourself. Try to ask uh, any, any awardees, those people that uh, already have scholarships, try to ask them about um, uh, the ways of making scholarships uh, application process. Uh, because everything needs all the uh, required documents for you to win a scholarship. Uh, I, uh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, we meet again. Uh, this is not the end. And I've shared my contacts uh, with you guys. Uh, anytime when you are free, if I have not answered your question, uh, uh, that number, that end will suffice my WhatsApp number. You can write that message to my WhatsApp number, and then I will answer to you. Uh, because for the interest of time, we would have stayed here for so long. And, uh, you know, internet's uh, connection somewhere is not good. Like in our area in South Sudan, uh, uh, there are challenges of internet because today is Sunday and people, all the people are using Yellow Sunday. Uh, that internet is very slow. And sorry, <laughs> sorry, guys. So you have to write in my WhatsApp number. My email is there. I'm going to share you my presentations. I will share to you all. And I never give up. Any help, I'm here for you. I'll be helping you. I'll guide you. And I don't want you to be alone in the University of Western Cave. I need around five people or six people, seven people like to join me in this university before I leave. And that's my task. And that's what I brought. And that's the task. And that's the mission of 
Ena. We need like around five people, six people to be here at the University of Western Cape. Uh, like I cannot make it as a record because I'm the best house that needs that is got accepted here. And I know uh, what are the challenges uh, making our South Sudan to be accepted. And that's what I share to you. And those are what they call insight, uh, insight um, information that I share to you. And always wait for the right links. Uh, the right links will be sent to you. Currently, there are no links for the school and for the university. I mean, for the school and for the scholarship. For the school will be out tomorrow. And then for the MasterCard at the end of the May, that is when it's going to open. But as for now, try like to equip yourself, get all the required documents. In the process of getting your equating, I'll be there for you. And that's where uh, you guys need my help. I'll guide you, I'll help you. Any payment I'll, try, I'll be trying to do on your behalf, but not my own money. Because I don't have a lot of money. Thank you, Jacob. Happy stop here. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, I I think we don't have that enough capacity to thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Bakic, but you have really done a lot. You have helped your brothers, and uh, that's how the community developed when sharing is caring, as they say, when we, we share what we have with our brothers, that's how we come up together. And we really appreciate you. May God give you enough knowledge to share with others in the future. And may we also stay together to work together and bring up this community. Uh, right now, I would like to welcome our uh, supervisor who also happens to be the chairperson of this community. And uh, yeah, I would like to welcome Mr. Dane Jacob to close everything and then we'll call it today. Thank you for attending. And my name is Nia Loal. Okay. Thank you so much, Brother Nia, for the tremendous work and the great job that you're doing. Actually, I would first like to, to appreciate Mr. Neal because he's the one responsible for orientation and the one who always organizes our orientation. So he happened to, to be the moderator today. And secondly, I would actually like to, to give much appreciation to Bakit Asen for the wonderful job and the great job that he has done. So actually, we know that uh, we are still uh, we are still growing as also Denise and we still need uh, a lot of things to, to be done. And I believe I believe that with our collective effort as members and, and volunteers, we can actually make a change. We can make a difference that people actually can tell some stories in the future. So one thing that I want to, to tell us, it is always said by, uh, it is always said that uh, winners never quit and quitters never, uh, never win. So I believe if you, are, if you are not a quitter, then you must win anytime. And mind you, most of the time, if you are, if you are, if you are, if you are actually consistent and you are committed, you devote your time on what you want, then you must get it. Nothing will, nothing, nothing is hard. People say nothing is impossible. So nothing is impossible to those who make it. So those who struggle, to those who, who are committed. So my my message to all of you, so always try to always try to, to be committed. Your commitment is start when you see like the link that are outside, you go through the link, you read, you you find the requirement. You see which one fits you and which one can work. Uh, you can work. Another thing of your commitment. So if you see link that are sent, like the link Zoom link that are sent to the group for you to join the meeting orientations, then the first the first step. If you join, I tell you, you cannot. If you keep joining this meeting, even if uh, even if you are not applying for that scholarship and you join, you come and get. You'll get. You get uh, more insight and you'll get more tips on how to win a scholarship. Not only this, but other scholarship because. When we speak about when we speak about the scholarship here, we don't just only speak on this specific scholarship, but most of the scholarship they have the same requirement, they have the same way of tackling them, so they have the same tips. So if you if you attend the scholarship, then you will get you will get one thing that you will never forget, and that thing can help you, uh, can help you uh, navigate your, your your application process, and at the end you win. So if you want to win, you need to also learn from winners, 
And that's that 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 that, 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 that the secret of winning. That's the secret. But the same. If you want to be rich, you need to learn from rich. You cannot learn from poor and you become rich. The same. So if you want to if you want to win a scholarship, Ena is here for you. So Ena is now is now uh, giving you free service. But what you what you, you never know. So time may come when when this free service may not be there. So then what will you do? So you need to use you need to make a good use of your time now because your brothers are here. I the all I all, all of them are here to, to help you, and that's why we have the platform to to help all of us. So if you have a question, you can ask your question. And actually. Sometimes when you ask a question, some people, some people are impatient. Sometimes they may ask a question, may ask a question, and you need a reply in one in one minute or one second. It's not like that. People are in different. We are living in different places. Like where I'm living now is nine nine a.m. I, I just woke up and attend the meeting. But for you now, you are going to sleep. So sometimes it's quite complicated. So when you are asking a question in the group, be patient enough and know that your question will be answered. If you know that your question is not answered, maybe contact someone. You you invoke someone. If it is not answered, wait for some time to be answered. So these are some of the things that I can say. So finally, I would like to also uh, recognize the presence of some ENAP volunteers. So we have we have Deng Solomon here in the heat of uh, orientation department, then Paulo Vainial that I said before. And we have uh, we have Emma Edi here, that is Ria Machola, is, uh, Edi, uh, is, is responsible for the programming, is uh, the part of uh, depart uh, department of program. And we have other volunteers who have not come today. So we are just here and we also have our we have some other committed members in ENA. These people they also make our community sound that they are also volunteering. Uh, on they, they also uh, they also represent us in some occasion. We have the like of uh, Daniel Edward is here. Actually, he was the one who shared the link to to Bakit for him to get the scholarship. And this is how we that's this is how the community work, and that's why we always tell you to share the, the, the information because you never know who can benefit. Sometimes it may, it may not be you direct, but the one that is related to you, your friend. Or your brother can also benefit from the same uh, from the same uh, information that you have. So, and we also have some uh, we also have some members who are also who always engage the the, the 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 community when we are not there. So thank you so much. So finally, I would like to to appreciate the the the, uh, the participant of today for attending the meeting, and especially for those who have been here right away from the beginning, like Ademin and other people. So you don't, you did not put the, your real name, and I would have mentioned it. So, but you, you, the name that you are seeing, uh, that you are seeing here. So, and other, and other people like Nial Gyok and, and the rest of the people who are also here, like Chol Mike. So, thank you for, for being here and all the members that I have not mentioned. So, thank you for being here until the end of the meeting. We really appreciate your presence. And we also would like to welcome you for the next orientation because we always have orientations when we have a scholarship around. So, thank you so much and wish you all the best in your process, whether you're applying for master's or you're applying for, bach uh, for bachelor's or you're applying for PhD. We wish you all the best, or you are just here to support the community. So we also wish you uh, the best in your endeavors. Thank you so much. I think maybe I, I know we are we are out of time, but we can I can just give only maybe one minute for any member maybe that want to say maybe maybe a word of appreciation or any improvement and comment maybe about what we need to improve for the next uh for the next orientation. Then you are welcome. So raise your raise your hand, and I will I will just allow you. Maybe for a good and, and Andrew Yehan have been there, so I, I will not consider it. But for others who want to maybe say it a word, you can just raise your hand, and I will allow you, and we call it a day. Okay, yeah. Neil, you can you can accept the yeah. You unmute yourself up. Okay. Are you getting me now? Are you getting me? Hello. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting you. We're getting you. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity given to me. I'm very glad that I have the opportunity to be here on the platform. I'm one of the members who have been here, but due to other circumstances, I could not make it to be like to attend the orientations. But I thank God that, uh, that I've got the opportunity today to attend. I thank the presenters, the organizers for the good uh, idea of giving the opportunities to those who may not have access to the information like scholarships. But you have tried your best to ensure that we who are very far, who may not get 
uh, attest to that we have got it. Uh, I'm really very, very happy with all that has been given to us. I believe as I get out of today, I'm convicted that if I go and give myself time, I'm sure I'll go through the scholarship. To not be bad, as has been said before, when you work for it, you cannot fail it. Thank you, our brother Bucky, for the good presentation. However, I had uh, a question before, but will not answer it. But I would just like to post it uh, as you guys are going to maybe think about it and you maybe book me about it. Uh, I wrote something before about having the passport and the uh, refugee ID. Uh, though it was not interpreted the way I wanted it, what I was asking is like uh, when I went to the the form of uh, the one of uh, the one of Ghana, is it uh, Kwame Kruma? It was stated there that you, you as an international student must have uh, your, your, your passport. Yeah, yeah, your passport. Then uh, in the form, there was that part which was requesting for the passport number. Then that's why I asked the question before about if you have the passport and the RFG ID at the same time, like uh, can it be possible? Because I asked many of them who are already at the university, when I saw the forms, they feel they were having the passport at the same time, decision card. So that's why I was asking. I was actually scared about it. Like, uh, is it different one of um, the University of Western Cape and the one of uh, Kwame Nkrumah? Are they different? That's the question which was really burning me. Uh, otherwise, thank you very much. Maybe you just need clarif like some clarification with uh, at your own time. Maybe you book me and tell me more about it. Or if there's someone out there who is also confused about it, maybe you just have to clarify it, that one there. And thank you very much. Hello. Yeah, Mr. Ding, you can come back. So I think we are done. Oh. Where's Mr. Jokov? I don't know where he's going when I'm asking for him. <laughs> now you can the host. Yes. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. I thank everyone. Maybe you just, Mr. Buck, maybe you just go through that and you see. Because I was very confused about it because I asked some guys who are already at Chikwama and Ukruma about that. Mm -hmm. For them, they, they had passports and at the same time, they had attestation card and they were all put in the form. Like, uh, you provide the evidence that if you are a refugee and in the form, it was stated that you must have a valid uh, passport. So I was asking, like, in case someone has all the documents like that and you put them, uh, are you at the server side? That's what I was trying to say in the, in the, in the text. Like, are you on, on the server side? If you have all of them, there's that part which require passport number. Then at the same time, you have to back it up with your attestation card showing that you're a refugee. So that's what I was asking. Like that, okay, let me try to answer to you. Yeah. Uh, it's like this, because whenever you have the refugee card, yes, yes. there's a refugee number. There is PG ID number. Uh, because they yeah. in there's a book they wrote passport stock ID. It is there. Mm. If you don't have a passport, you use the PG ID. Mm. And mm. for you to have some chances of getting the scholarship. You see? Sometimes as a you you cannot be and if you are IDP, you can use your passport. Yeah. If you are RPG, try to use uh, use your uh, if you are, uh, I mean, a refugee, use your refugee number. That is uh, that part of uh, passport number. There is a number. Oh, there okay. Is, uh, yeah, number. there is individual number. There is individual number. Yeah, there is individual number. And that is the number that you need to use. And mm -hmm. when you are uploading uh, your uh, your documents, you have to uh, upload also. Ah, it's fine, it's fine. All right, thank you very much. Okay, I think Mr. that's Dave, all the issue. 
Lenga has gone so far. I don't know. Come back. Thank you. Oh, you came back. <laughs> I allowed him in. Mr. Day, okay. come over. Yokov. Maybe just close the meeting, I think. Most I'm seeing people are going like I they are like eleven now active. I've given his position. Okay. I've given you back your position. So try to close. Yakov, are you with us? I don't know where it's going. Mr. Bucky, maybe just you just close. I think he might be very busy. He just close. No, Jacob is around. I don't know. Hey. He's there, but I don't know what's the problem. He's not talking. Yeah, I'm Jacob. seeing him. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, sorry guys, my, my internet just left. I, I, I had to subscribe again how to use data. It's fine. It's sorry. fine. It's fine. Sorry. Okay, I think we are we are done. Uh I don't know, I don't know where you I don't know where you stop. I think we may, may end the meeting. Maybe what I can say, Neil, we did not take you, we did not take uh take your, your question out of context. I got out of contact, but by the way. Uh sometimes some people they may they may apply and they and they upload all the document, like they upload passport and they upload uh uh, refugee ID, but yeah. the, 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 the the logic is this one. So if you if you upload your passport, then the one then those guys will, will understand. They will say that oh, this guy is cheating us because how can you be how can you be a refugee, a refugee? and you are, you are in your country at the same time to have the passport? Because they expect they know that if you are a refugee, then you are not in your mm -hmm. country and you cannot be able to obtain the passport. So even if mm -hmm. you have passport. Then you just and you are a refugee. Then you just upload your refugee identities and leave out passport. So unless maybe unless if they require it now after that, then now you will see the process now. But uh, but it's, it's important not to not to upload it most of the time. Yeah. So I think we can we can right, just thank you, end right. the meeting if there's no another 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 uh, another burning issue. Hey, okay. Now about uh, like. Those who have the the, the South Sudan certificate of secondary education uh, and the RFG. It's also accepted. There's no problem with that. Then that's okay. Okay, we can call it we can call it a day. Thank you so much for attending. And we are sorry for some interruption. So network sometimes is on our side, and that's why online things are not always perfect. So thank you for your time and See you again next time. Bye. Marco, uh,